it's Robert from Idaho ATV Touring. I'm not a professional mechanic, do it yourself type guy. Watch some videos online about cleaning the uh, Razor throttle body on my 570, 2017 570 trail. It's not that big a deal. You just remove the air box. Before you remove the air box, spray the throttle body, all the throttle body and everything off to get rid of any excess dirt or, or uh, material off there. Pull it off. This is what you end up with. You see inside there, you see your little flapper thing. You don't want to stick your finger in there and flap it. And there's a reason why, because it has to do with programming and stuff, and we'll get to that in just a minute. At this point, what you want to do is you want to take some carburetor air and air intake cleaner. It has to be air intake cleaner, not WD-40 or anything else. And you get in there and you spray it. Give it a good spray. Let it soak. And then you take a blue rag like so and you get in there and you just gently start to wipe it out without, without moving that flapper thing and just kind of get in there and wipe it out the best you can nice and gently get in there and just just wipe put a little put a spray a little on your on your on your towel here and get in there and wipe it off wipe it off real good in there sometimes you can take a a toothbrush like this and get in there and scrub it because usually what will happen is that edge right below the bottom of the of the uh, butterfly there will get so dirty and grimy that you're not getting any air through there. And that will cause for a rough idle, bad response, a lot of different issues, okay, in regards to uh, not having a clean throttle body. Now, why would, you, why would your throttle body get dirty in the first place when you have an air cleaner? Well, the air cleaners are not bomber, 100%. You're going to get dirt through them. Uh, that's why I have a uni pre-filter on my intake on my snorkel. You can do the same thing over here on your stock, is what I originally did. And it kept my throttle body pretty clean, but still, the last time I cleaned it, it was so freaking dirty that uh, uh, it, it wasn't even running right. It was eating, it was starting to eat oil, which wasn't a good thing. It doesn't eat oil anymore. So as you can see, I've gotten in there and cleaned it real well. Now, how do you how do you get the butterfly to open up so you can clean that and, and everything? That that that's pretty easy to do. You basically come over here and you turn your key on, take a stick, depress your accelerator, come back over here, and as you can see, it's open, right? Now you can get in there with your toothbrush and you, you can scrub the top of that butterfly and underneath the bottom of that butterfly real good and inside. Don't go too far up in there because you only want to clean, you know, yay, yay far into there. Okay, you don't want to, you don't want to get, you go sticking stuff way up in there and uh, get in there and just, you're just cleaning out the little bit of grime that's in there. As you can see, I've, I've cleaned it pretty good. There's no way to get it all out. And uh, then after you do that, you get in there with, it, with the towel, gently get in there and just kind of wipe it out. Wipe it out. The edge of the butterfly right here, you want to you clean, kind of clean that, okay? It's kind of hard to do the, the part on the bottom because it's in the back right now, but... Generally, if you do regular maintenance on it, it won't get so bad that it's, it's usually dirt that ends up right in there, right on that line area there that will uh, clog you up. So what I'm doing is I'm going to come back here. I'm going to turn off my ignition. I'm going to remove the throttle. And of course, it pops back. Now... Looks like my uh, throttle body is nice and clean, easy maintenance, took me 10 minutes to do, performs your, uh, makes your engine run a lot better. Uh, one of the things that, is, you notice, my throttle body, when I, when I opened it up this time, wasn't that dirty. Now, what, what I did was when I snorkeled, of course, my engine breather is still coming in over here. So what's happening is that 
that that soot and that dirty air that comes out your engine breather is no longer going in my air box and into my throttle body to be burned. Shame on me for disconnecting and uh, a uh, a uh, smog device type type setup, but uh, you know I. From the last time I cleaned my throttle body, this time here, of course, my throttle body was a lot cleaner this go round. Okay, so keep that in mind. Having that, and and I didn't throw any codes disconnecting that engine breather or anything like that because it, it does it doesn't have to do with anything with vacuums or anything else. Okay, so there you go. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it.